Okay, wait a second. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? We're here to review, me and my buddy John here to review The Wrath of Becky, the sequel to Becky, which we saw, what, two years ago? Yeah. Something like that. And it was yeah. different because it went against ta Type Canada. Kevin James played a, a neo-Nazi organization, and then... This one uh, has Stifler playing Stifler, a bad guy. Yeah, and also, Malachi is in it, too, and they play like... Um, well, she gets over the the guys in first, and then it showed her like going from like the foster home to foster home. I guess she sneaks out. This lady she lives with, uh, old lady, you know, it's kind of like a mom to her in a way, and she's with her dog and stuff. And there, there's something called the noblemen or noblemen and noble boys, probably like a version of the of the proud boys. And they did like that OK symbol that Trump did that one time. Uh and, uh, the guys, well, she, uh, she's a waitress, and then she's talking about being bad to customers. And the guys come in, they're being really rude, except for the one guy who was normal. And the other guy, you know, just being so great, she poured coffee, she, uh, spilled coffee on his lap on purpose. And then that night, so we're going to teach her a lesson. They kill her, uh, dog, and they, well, no, they don't know, they, they hit, they knock the dog out, and they take the dog, but they killed that one old lady. And it's basically just an revenge to have that. Now, a lot of it's like pure comic book, because they definitely know the route they're going on. And when they talk about the moment, they have like the guy announcing stuff on the radio, with a little bit of a nod to the old school. And there's like references, they had both Stifler and Malachi in it. Uh, reference to uh, Walking Dead, reference to Children of the Corn, reference to Emmyville, reference to Friday the 13th Part 6. What was it? Friday the 13th Part 6, I think it was Jason Lives. I don't remember. Um, and, I mean, see if you can get that. I mean, just references a bunch of horror films and stuff. I like that, but it's, it's very knowing what it was. I mean, because she's in right there. She's in, like, a Sturman Alpha, which she's going to kick ass, but for girls. Right. Uh, and it wanted to, like, I mean, it was good, but I mean, a little bit too, uh, maybe a little bit of a parody. So I think it got really good, like, halfway through, where there was some dissension amongst the bad guys. And then it got really good, and then it, but it's like it knows what it is, and it, and it is. It is what it is. Yeah, it, you know some I mean. parts play out like a comic book, but I mean that's not a bad thing. It's I mean it's a lot of fun. It's a quick eighty-three minutes. Uh, I don't think it has the tension that the first one does, but I mean there's lots of good parts. There's some funny parts in it too. I give it a. Uh, I give it a eight point seven five out of ten. Yeah, and she's pretty good, but I forgot she was in uh, the TV series House on Hounding Hill, mm. and that was, which is really good playing one of the young, well, she's one of the kids in that. Yeah. But uh, I think for the third movie, if they make one, it should be her teaming up with Nicolas Cage's character for Manny. Oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> what are you dealing with, man? Crazy evil! <laughs> That's so awesome. Mandy was the shit. It was awesome. I mean, and then, like, Renfield... Nicholas Cage is brilliant. Cause I forgot about that, you know. Yep. Um, so hope you like this movie review, everybody. Till next time, please. All right, take care, of my legion. Take care, of my legion. Yergi, gonna go back. And then. Uh,